It's time now for the Peter Channel Lazy News on the Sunday evening, April 17, 2016. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. I'm your 5, 10 p.m. news on this Sunday evening. And our top story is... Now, death toll from a powerful earthquake that shook Ecuador's northwestern coast toward our 238 Sunday and hundreds more were wounded, the nation's president said. George Clooney says he hates raising money for politics, but after hosting two big ticket fundraisers with his wife Kamal that reportedly raised $15 million in support of Hillary Clinton this weekend, Clooney is defended all by drawing attention. Washington, a big GOP meeting that demands possible fall for Donald Trump after the RNC rumble and a Ted Cruz counter quandary that stirs the centerpiece of President Obama's immigration legacy. He heads to the Supreme Court on Monday, where a stroke staff court bench will decide the fate of his controversial programs to grant court permits for millions of immigrants here illegally. Iran recently rolled out a couple of winners in the next event, air defense that received from Russia Sunday, according to regional reports. Iran started to receive its first parts of the S-300 missile defense system from Russia last week. A U.S. Air Force reconnaissance plane was encircled by a Russian fighter plane over the Baltic Sea in what American officials said on Sunday was an unsafe and unprofessional manner. Brazil, Brazil. Lawmakers of Brazil's lower house have been gotten voted on a weapon to impeach President Dilma Rousseff. Senior negotiators say rebels entitled to retaliate. Mainstream opposition hints they can end and talk soon. London. Two 14-year-olds men in charge with murder after two bodies were found in the house in the UK town of Spalding Police said Sunday. Saudi Arabian officials are heartily against a bill that to make it easier for families of 9-11 victims to sue because they are worried about the king's ties to the World Trade Center terrorists would be revealed during the trial. Harris, French President Francis Hanna is set to sign an arms deal with Egypt with more than one million dollars found months in the negotiations. Doha Cater, a schism between Saudi Arabia and Iran over oil production ended the meaning of OPEC and other oil producing countries Sunday to establish a production freeze. Brussels, thousands marched in Brussels Sunday against terror in eight, including some caught up in the suicide bomb attacks on Belgium airport and metro station. Geneva, Switzerland, as many as one in five countries rolled out a new polio vaccine worldwide in an effort to eradicate the crippled disease. Washington, a Russian fighter jet barreled world over a U.S. Air Force reconnaissance aircraft through the Baltic Sea early this week. Two teens were pulled in and surf and swept at the sea this weekend at San Francisco's Ocean Beach after an hour's long search of 40 decided the boys were presumed drowned. A Belmont native who became the first American woman to compete in seven marathons and seven continents in seven days was recognized alongside some Boston Marathon legends at this year's race. A man who police say opened fire on two firefighters carried out a welfare check in Stipple Hills Miller home or allegedly fought someone who was breaking the house that he took action to defend himself a fire department spokesman told ABC News. Nine people, who included three children, were injured Sunday afternoon enough when two vehicles collided in North Hills, California. More than 65 hours responded to the scene following the accident when which one vehicle brought over ejecting several occupants. Chicago, the Chicago Teachers Union, is on a treasure trade as a track after rejecting an officer's recommendation on a proposed four year contract. In Dartmouth, Massachusetts, former Massachusetts Congressman Barney Fink is set to appear at a screening of a documentary about the slap. The University of Massachusetts Dartmouth will show compared to what the improbable journey of Barney Fink on Tuesday afternoon. The 76 year old Newton Democrat will take questions after the screening and he's speaking at two political science classes beforehand. Boston, the clock is ticking toward the tax deadline, but Massachusetts residents have more days to most of the country to get those returns in. The so, uh, steel to freeze or effort by OPEC and the non OPEC producers fell apart on Sunday after Saudi Arabia demanded that Iran join in despite the calls of Riyadh to save the agreement and help prop up coup door process. The Yahoo file series should be reaching a turning point this week. Any company would endorse and buy all of part of the troubled Sunnyvale, California company. London, a British Airways flight Sunday appears to have with a drone on flight bound for London's busy Heathrow Airport, which may be the first such incident involving a major airline.
Many parts of Ohio and West Virginia will soon adhere the swarms as insects as a patch of the neighboring states. An unprecedented scientific collaboration in investigating a massive volcano that spread to the cross. The border with China and North Korea. Elderly women take type 2 diabetes women take metaphor maybe a low risk of development some types of cancer according to a new large study from Roswell Park Cancer Institute at the University of Buffalo. Washington and the United States is likely to see outbreaks at a Zika virus with power of dozens of scores of people affected. Chernobyl, Ukraine. Three decades after the Chernobyl disaster sent a reactor cloud over much of Europe, our position of nuclear power is visible in obscurity here. CMS has introduced a new model that takes the number of set movement away from the traditional fee for service model and primary care. The company said primary care plus program for care benefits are announced by CMS. And take a look at New England Insurance in Fairlawn, New Jersey, more accident and entrapment at Dewey Place in Morlot Ave. Two car more accident and entrapment mobile injuries reported. Bear Challenge time, 5 16 p.m. on this Sunday afternoon, 10 hours for spot to port. The Wheat Line softball team complete a sweep of the Red Island Ankle Woman. First, 11 to 3 in the first, then 8 to 7 in the second. Okay, NBA score. Detroit Pistons trail the Cleveland Kelters 9 1 8 in game number one of that NBA Eastern Conference first round game. Food to Bridge, Chicago Blackhawks, Linden, St. Louis Blues, 2 to 1. And ML Soccer Action, New England Revolution, and uh, Orlando Football Club, tied at one in peace down in Orlando. Major League Baseball scores the Boston Red Sox fall to the Toronto Blue Jays, 5 to 3. Cincinnati Reds fall to the St. Louis Cardinals, 4 to 3. Scar Rocky shout out to Chicago Cubs, 2 to nothing. Pittsburgh Pirates over the Milwaukee Brewers, 9 to 3. Federal Phillies over the Washington Nationals, 3 to 2. Atlanta Braves over the Miami Marlins, 6 to 5. New York Mets play the Cleveland Indians, 6 to nothing. Tampa Bay Rays over the Chicago White Sox 3 2. New York Yankees over the Seattle Mariners 4 3. Houston Nationals leading the Detroit Tigers 5 4 in the bottom of the 8. Minnesota Twins and Los Angeles Angels tied at 2. Bottom of 4th. Kansas City Rails out leading the Oakland Athletics 2 0. And then Arizona Diamondbacks and San Diego Padres tied at 2. Oakland, California, Saw Guard, Stephen Curry remains critical for Game 2 of the Gold State Wars playoff series against Houston Rockets on Monday after Ronald's right ankle in the second quarter of Game 1. Seattle, Seattle's winning back quarterback Brandon Brenner. Call Edward Winsman pulled at the Bridgestone Motor Speedway for the first win of the season. Pierre Challenge is on 5 17 on this Sunday afternoon. Going into Sunday evening and into the time now for a travel report. <laughs> Let's study up down in Rhode Island. Where? It is where it is looking at the nine ways and ball ways to be down. But on one day in West Pantag, the accident just ran North King Stand just before Route 1. And 95 minutes that band a little slow from Hockney and Redown all the way at the North Stonington Connecticut to an in the next and a 95 set band down in North Stonington Connecticut just ran. Route 184, so expect some delays, but the Ocean State Outways are looking good. Southeast of Massachusetts and Cape Cod and vicinity outways are looking good. Southeast is pressing on the South Pantide stop and go down to the Dorchester Stretch and hit breaks again before the Furnace Brook Parkway and before the break trees put Mass Park in the East Pantide. Slow from the Southeast Expressway all the way out to the Yalston Bar Tolls. All the way at the Logan Airport. Mass Park West Pantide. Slow from Logan Airport all the way out to the Southeast Expressway. 93 in the North Pantide. A little slow around the Mass Pike in Boston. Mass Park in the East Pantide. Slow before Route 128 in Weston, 120 in the South Pantide. Slow from Linfield all the way at Route 93 in Reddit. Mass Park on both ends, a little slow from Chuck Lanai to IE4 in Sturbridge doing an accident on Mass Park on the West Pantide just ran. The Charlton Sturbridge section, 91 in the South Pantide, a little slow around 291 in Springfield. I 91 in the South Pantide, we had an accident just in Northampton just before Route 5, so expect a few delays. I-91 and I-87, then an I-89, it's slow on I-87 and South Pantide after the Canadian border. In Vermont, I-89 and I-91, and it's slow after the Canadian border. But Vermont and Hampshire main highways are looking good. Down in Connecticut, 395 on the South Pantide, a little slow on Route 101 in Killing, doing the next one on 395, South Pantide, just around Route 101 in Killing, 91 in the North Pantide, good accident just before I-84 in Hartford, so expect some delays. I-91 and South Pantide, good accident, just ran Rocky Hill, ran Route 160, so expect some delays. 
I A for the westbound knee span side little so before root eight and Waterbury doing an accident on I A for knee span side just before root eight and Waterbury and we got an accident on A for in, in Newtown so expect some delays. Nine five on the set bounce side little so from New Haven all the way out to Milford. Due to a couple of accidents on nine five northbound in New Haven and around Route one sixty two. Nine five on the set bounce side little so before I nine when the New Haven connected. Nine five on the set bounce side little so from. Route 7 to Noop, all the way out to Stanford. 95 on the northbound side, Lulso from Port Chester around in Greenwich. Merritt Park Road and westbound side, Lulso around Route 7 in New Canaan. And Route Merritt Park Road and westbound side, Lulso from Milford all the way out to Route 8 and Route 25. Route 59 on the northbound side, we have an accident in Bridgeport just before Route 59, so expect some delays. Down to New York City and vicinity. Belt Parkway on both ends, it's slow from Lawrence Expressway all the way out to 295. Lawrence Expressway, it's slow from Hicksville all the way out to the Midtown Tunnel in Manhattan. Lion Express in the eastbound side. It's all from Midtown Manhattan and all the way out toward Manhattan. Belt Parkway in both ends. It's all from 278 on the eastbound side just before the Valley Stream. Belt Parkway in the westbound side. It's all from Valley Stream all the way out to Belt Parkway. 670 on the both sides. It is all from. Lawrence Expressway all the way out to Route 27 and 678 on the northbound side of the JFK Airport. Grand Central Park rated slow around the LaGuardia Airport on both ends. 270 on both ends a little slow from Route 27 all the way out to Brooklyn. And then it's slow go from 270 on the eastbound side from the Browns and Nerds Bridge all the way out to the Brooklyn. 270 on eastbound side it is slow from Brooklyn all the way out to Lawrence Expressway. Lincoln Tunnel on both ends it's slow go. George Washington Bridge on both ends at slow go. 95 on both ends at slow go from 278 all the way down to the New Jersey border. And 278 on the uh, eastbound side of it. So from Lisbon, New Jersey, down to Santa Ana, New York. New Jersey trip out the accident. Woodbridge Township. So expect no is a 95 on the New Jersey trip out northbound side from Woodbridge Township. Stretch at Elizabeth, New Jersey. 95 on the northbound side of it. So from Route 3 all the way up to Paris and the New Jersey trip out the northbound side. And New Jersey trip back at Soul for the Monroe Township. New Jersey trip back at Soul from Chesterfield Township all the way at the East Windsor. And New Jersey trip back at also Soul around Burris Township. 95 on the northbound side, also from 676 all the way at the center city, Philadelphia. 76 on the eastbound side, also from South Philadelphia, searching and now at the King of Prussia. Due to an accident on 76 in the eastbound side, just after 476, so expect some delays. 95 on the southbound side, it is over the Chester, Pennsylvania stretch. 95 on the Jersey Turnpike, Lulz around the Delaware Bridge in Wilmington. Grand Street Park is moving from New York all the way down to Wildwood, New Jersey. 95 on the northbound side, it's slow from Bel Air all the way out to Newark, Delaware. Baltimore, Washington Parkway, it's slow on both ends from BWI Airport all the way out to Washington. Down in Baltimore, it is looking good, except on 95 on the northbound side, Lulz around 895 in Harbor Tunnel. 8 Baltimore, Washington Expressway, Lulz slow in a Dundalk stretch. Baltimore Washington Parkway is it's slow from Greenbelt all the way at the Fort Meade. 95 on both ends also after Route Clarksville around I-97. Down in DC, 395 on the northbound side also from Springfield all the way at the downtown Washington DC Mountain Capital. I-66 on westbound side it's so from DC all the way at the Tyson's Corner. 66 in the eastbound side also from Tyson's Corner all the way and Beltway it's slow from 267 to Tyson's Corner all the way at the Bethesda Maryland 270. And in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania turn out moving from Philadelphia all the way up to Pittsburgh. I 18 eastbound side, a little soul from I 18 eastbound side, a little soul from Clearfield all the way at the Belafonte and just south of Williamsport. And I 376 in the eastbound side, a little soul just before the Pittsburgh and Monroeville stretches. In New York State, looking good, and New York State's ways moving from New York all the way up to Pennsylvania border. And highways and byways, New York State are looking good. And look at MBTA alerts at 524. Green Line E branch position mile lays. Commuter rail. Amtrak soon problem investment results. South side trains are now operating into out of South Station with residual delays. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Challenger's on 524 on this 
Sunday evening, and it is done out for a weather report, and it turned out to be a spectacular Sunday in the weather department with clear skies and mild temperatures, but it comes at a cost with elevated fire weather potential today. Area fire weather officials are invited to fire elevated fire weather potential again today with gusts being lighter than what we experienced yesterday. It's generally between 15 and 20 miles per hour with the strongest winds across southeast New England. Average temperatures will be warmer than yesterday. Minimum relative humidity values will drop to between 10 and 25 percent. As given the end of the minute, dry air in our area is still in pre green up, there will be an elevated risk of fire spread potential. Alright, 70 forecast goes like this for tonight. Clues cloud about 37 degrees. East will about 6 miles up coverage. Light of variable in the evening. For Monday, most of the clouds are about 71 degrees. Light of variable wind becoming not running 6 miles in the morning. Monday night, chance of showers bring up to 10 p.m. Most clouds are about 42 degrees. And south will about 3 to 6 miles at chance of just 50 percent. New person for months less than 10 minutes as possible. Tuesday, a chance of showers mainly before 1 p.m. Mostly clouds got a low about high about 55 degrees. Normal about 5 to 7 miles at a chance of 30 percent. New person months less than 10 minutes as possible for Tuesday. Most clouds got about 38 degrees. North person about 7 miles an hour. Wednesday, Sunday, most clouds got about 56 about 37 degrees. For Thursday, Sunday, the park clouds got about 67 about 46 degrees. Friday, chance of showers after 11 p.m. Mostly Class guys with a chance of showers after 11 a.m. Most class guys about 6 down about 48 degrees of chest pain to 30% on Friday, up to 50% by Friday night. Saturday, part 7 part class guys about 6 to 1 about 39 degrees, and for Sunday, most class guys about 58 degrees. Currently here in honor, it is a fair day and 66 degrees, humidity at 19 to 16%, and that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. 18 news on this Sunday evening, April 17, 2016, here's it. Good evening and a good positive to all. See you at 11 o'clock for a late night report. Have a good evening.